Hi everyone. In this series, we're looking at how to add inputs into vMix. An input is any element that you want to include into your live production. In this video, we're looking at video inputs and how to use them. In vMix, your inputs are added through the Add Inputs section, which is in the bottom left. Firstly, we'll need to click on the Add Input button. Then select Video. Then click Browse. Now this will allow you to choose a video that you want to use in your production. Now you notice down the bottom right hand corner, there is a huge list of supported video files that are available to use in vMix. So select your video, click open, and before you click OK, make sure that if you've got an alpha channel in your video or it's interlaced to tick these boxes here. Now that we've added a video input into vMix, we can edit and make changes to the video input by clicking the cog icon or double clicking the input window. Now we already have a tutorial video about input settings. So if you'd like more information about it, please check out that video. So here you can change the name, the aspect ratio, the category of the input. Um, also you can change the mouse click action as well. Um, audio settings or creating virtual inputs. Now for video inputs, the most important ones are in the middle here. Now you can sharpen a video by clicking here. You can use this to zoom in to check the effect. You can mirror the video. And underneath that, we have four behavioral settings for your video inputs. Automatically mix audio, automatically play with transition, automatically restart with transition, and automatically pause after transition. Automatically mix audio means that if you tick that box, when you transition your video to the output, the audio will automatically turn on. Automatically play with transition means that the video will play whenever you transition the video to the output. Automatically restart with transition will restart the video when you transition it. And automatically pause after transition will pause the video when you transition it from output back to the preview. Now I'll show you examples of those a bit later on. Now on the left hand side we have some more menu items such as color adjust which means you can change the color change the saturation to make it black and white. You can black stretch, white stretch, and change the alpha of the video. We also have a color key section, which enables you to create a green screen effect with a chroma key. And we have a video for the rest of these settings that is available to be watched via our tutorials, and the link will be in the description. So color key, position, multi-view triggers can be all viewed from a different tutorial video. So once you're happy with your settings, we can go back by pressing the X button, which will save them. Now that we have our video file in the input section of vMix, it's ready to be used in our production. If we want to start using it, we can click the input window to bring it into preview. I'll use this as an example. So I'll click the input window to bring it into the preview. And then I can use any of the transition buttons here to bring it into the output, which is what we're showing in our live production. Or you could use quick play or cut underneath it. So we're going to cut here. And as you can see, it's been brought into our production. Now you'll notice that it automatically played when I transitioned and it automatically paused when I brought it back. These are the settings that we've changed that we can change here in our input settings. So if you didn't want it to automatically pause or automatically play, you could tick these buttons here. So if we want to make it automatically restart with a transition, we can tick this button. So what that will do is when we play this video now, it will go back to the start of the video. And when we transition it back, it will then restart again. So you notice here it's gone back to zero. And if we bring it back, it goes back to zero again. Now these numbers represent how long the video has been playing for, um, how long the video is, and how long there is left to go in the video. Now we can use vMix in a couple of ways to queue up our video. We can press play on the input or in the preview and then work out the point that we want it to play to, and then click pause. And then we can transition that across. Because we've already selected to restart, we'll just need to turn that off. So now we've selected the six second mark, we can bring that across, and it will play at that position. Then we can pause it from here, or our input, or we can just transition it back, and it will pause for us. Okay, so we can also use the slider to choose a point that we want to go to in the video. So we can use this slider here 
get to a point that we want to use and then we can play it by transitioning it across and then bring it back again. Now you can actually set in and out points on your video as well. So if you queue up a certain section that you want to play, um, you can set the in and out points. By default, the little green and red button will be at the start and the finish because it's going to play the whole video. But if you want to queue up a particular section, just right click the slider, click mark in. You can play the video till you get to that point, then hit pause and then mark out. Or you could slide it to mark in and then go to mark out. So we click restart here, it'll go back to the start of that point. And then when we transition it across, it's only going to play those three seconds. Then we can transition it back. If you want to reset the video, you just go right click again, and then you can reset in, reset out, or reset both of the mark in and mark out points. So we're gonna change that. And you'll see the green and red has gone to the end again. And we can also use vMix to create a loop of a video. So if we use the slider here to find a point that we want to loop, we can mark in, play that, create a mark out point, restart the video, and now underneath the input, we can click the loop um, button. Now this will allow us to create a loop of that mark in and out point, or if the mark in and out point weren't there, it would just loop the entire video if we wanted to. So if we transition this across, it will now loop the three seconds of that video. Now some people might actually want to play their video at all times in their vMix production. So I'll show you an example of that. So we'll bring that into the preview. You can actually use the play button underneath the input to play that video at all times. So say you want to have this live video playing and you don't want it in the preview and you go, oh, I want to use this point here. We can just cut that directly across like so and then we can bring it back. Say for example you have you want it to continue to keep playing when even when you transition in and out go to the cog icon and then remove the automatically pause after transition section. So when we cut this in and cut this out it's going to keep playing at all times bring this into preview and it's still playing down here. Now keep in mind if you do have a lot of videos that are playing in your input section as a live preview, it's going to use up a more CPU. Now you can adjust the playback speed of a video. So we'll bring this into preview, right click the input window, then click here. So this will allow you to speed up the video or slow it right down. If you want to bring it back to 100%, just click the numbers here and click 100%, click right to close it. Now we're going to look at audio for your video input. If I click the input settings here and then I select automatically mix audio. It means that the audio is going to turn on every time I transition my video into the output. So as you can hear now, the audio is on, the audio light has gone on underneath the input, and the audio has been turned on in the audio mixer. All of your audio settings are the same, and they're just put in different locations. So if I transition this back across, the audio is going to turn off. Now the video is still playing because we left it to automatically play and not pause. Some people like to be able to use the audio of a video throughout their entire production. And you can do that as well by playing the video and you select the audio button here. So as you can hear, you can still hear the audio, but you can't actually view the video. Hi everyone. Well now within vMix, you can also mix and match resolutions. VMix will adapt and make them fit your VMix production's master resolution. And finally, another cool feature is you're able to drag and drop videos from a folder. So we select a bunch of videos, we can just drag these into our production. Like so. So that's an easy way to bring in bulk inputs. Then you can go ahead and make changes to each input individually through the settings section. So that's how you add video inputs and change settings in vMix. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or send us an email. Thanks for watching.